Hey, what's up? So today we got Fox in the house tonight. What's up, Fox? Millie, what it do, what it do, what it do. True fam on the dog. I like this stuff. Come on. That's what's what up. That's do? what's up. It's a pleasure, man, having you come out, man. So, man, tell me a little bit about your, your coming up in the rap game, man. Like your early beginnings. You know what I mean? Early beginnings? Man, my, look, it's, 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 it's simple, bro. My early beginnings was, was pretty much sitting in, 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 in middle school and high school not doing no schoolwork, F finding something else to do, and that other that, that something else to do was was writing music, bro, and took it from there, bro. Okay, so so instead of focusing on school, you already had your you already had what you what you wanted to do. You wanted to focus on music. Say, so, bro, that's just that's just me, bro. I I if if I don't want to do something, I ain't interested in it, bro. I just ain't gonna be interested, in it, bro. Like I probably could have graduated, bro. But I just wasn't interested in it. You know what I'm saying? I, I probably dropped out of 12th grade. Okay. So yeah, you was all you was almost there. You, That's you, crazy, man. Yeah, you just said forget it, man. Now at that time, had you already started to blow up musically? Uh-uh. Man, look, when I signed, that's what a lot of people don't know. When I when I signed with Trill, I didn't have no high song like through the city. Like nobody knew who the hell I was when I signed with Trill. Nobody knew who a fox was. Really? So now they, did Go ahead. Now, did you did you Boosie and Webby all go to the same school? Nah, nah. We actually are from different hoods. Webby from Sherwood. I'm from Glen Oaks, and Boosie from the South. So, pretty much, I went to Glen Oaks. Um, schools in that area. Webby went to Sherwood, and Boosie went to McKinley. So, nah, we ain't, we ain't really grow up. Well, I grew up around Boo a lot. He didn't know it though. Him and my people. Was, was real tight. I played ball with his brother and stuff. I don't even think they remember that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. So back in the early days. So there was always a connection there. It's just that, you know, you guys didn't really come together and start working on music until you officially signed the Trill? Yeah. 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 I was just a fan of them dudes till I signed. Now, could you clear up some, some, some rumors, man? Now, was Trill started by Pimp C? Like, did he really own that label? Or because that's always been a rumor out there. Like, who okay. really ran Trill? No, man. Turk and Mel is the CEO of the Trill Entertainment. Pimp C and Bon B was pretty much like, I said a co-sign. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get it. So they're the ones who kind of co-signed you guys in the game? Yeah, pretty much a co-sign. Okay. But T and Mel is the, is the owners of Trill Entertainment. Pimp C and Bon B, they have nothing to do with Trill Entertainment. Really, man? That's going to shock a lot of fans out there. You know, that's been the rumor forever, like, I remember when y'all first start. I remember when y'all first started blowing up. They were like, "Yeah, man, these cats they signed it. They signed a pimp C, man. They coming out hard." You know why, Was that you know why that it, why it is, huh? Why is that? That's because Turk and Mel never was seen. They don't dudes don't they don't take pictures and shit like this. So you know what I'm saying? Nobody saw them, so I they just it. assumed it was it, it was Bun and Pimp. You know what I'm saying? Because of the relationship, because of the you know the ties we have with them. Okay, nah, 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 I get it. So Turk and Mel, the, the owners, they just said they they said they'll play the back, you know. And what's crazy is a lot of the the CEOs and label owners used to play the back, man. They used to be yes. like, you know, because like, what does Tony Draper really look like? Like, what do some of these cats really look like? You know, man, man. I, 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 you, you totally right. The, the CEOs playing the front. That's that's some new stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's some new stuff. CEOs didn't even want you to know they were CEOs. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day. But it's a new day now. CEOs want to be artists. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I think I think Birdman was probably the biggest one to to, to really jump out there as a CEO. Well, I, I, I ain't gonna use we can't use Birdman because Birdman actually rap and he put out an album. So true, true. That's true. It's a little different with him. Now you come from Baton Rouge. So yeah. did, is that a big part of the way your style was put together? Like, how'd you how'd you develop your style, like your, your sound? Because it's very distinct. If you listen to street gossip, it's a very distinct sound. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got my own style, bro. I got my own style. I got a, a raspy voice. Ain't no duplicate of me. You know what I'm saying? And that, that played a, a, a big part in how good my record did as far as street-wise. You know what I'm saying? That got me still doing concerts and off it to this day, you know what I'm saying? 
And plus, you got one of the most classic songs out there, right? Like, I mean, let's be real. Man, you you think I got a classic song? Nah. You wait till that Jigga train heat up like it's about to. Okay. I got a, so Jigga train gonna be bigger than White Man. Uh, okay. Trust. And I know you hate to talk about this because I've seen your other interviews. You know, I was doing my homework. Nah, bro, I, it, ain't, it ain't. What you talking about? What you been talking about? I, I, yeah, yeah, wipe me down. Like, nah, it, ain't, it ain't that I hate to talk about it. It's, it's the way. Let me tell you why, why, why I stopped liking talking about this song. Because the way the 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 um the interviewers used to do it, you know what I'm saying? You'll do a whole long interview, right? Mm -hmm. And you will ask me that question about this song, right? And I'll give you an honest answer, right? And they'll cut it to just that part of the interview as if I was bringing that up or as if I'm, I still give a damn about that. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and I, I really don't. I don't mind answering the question. It's just who I'm trying. That was either Vlad. It was either Vlad or Jordan Tower, bro. Okay. They, they took. I did a um. You know how they strip your stuff off of on <laughs> Instagram when you do your lives and stuff. Yep, 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 yep. So they strip mine off, and they and 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 he the way he put it. With that clickbait, and I just say, bro, that made me kind of not stop even wanting to talk about the song. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna do that. that. Made me stop even wanting to talk about it because you, you know, it's like you, you're making it seem like something is not. You know what I'm saying? You asking me about this, but then make it put it out as if this is what okay. this interview is about. Okay. Yeah. Nah. You know that, yeah. That's uh, but whatever yeah. you want to ask me about it, bro. I don't mind. Now, my question was really basic. It, it was going to ask you, how do you feel like how the song blew up? And you know, who really who who's the who's the person who who was the lead on that song? I always thought it was your your song, but Boosie does get credit. You know what I'm saying? He gets a lot of the credit for the song. It's yeah. used in a lot of different sororities, fraternities. Everybody <laughs> uses that song. Like it's been for a long time. And I, I just want to say, do you? I, I want to give you your just dues like that. Originally, that's your song, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I when I first did that song, it was three verses with just me. Okay, and then how how did who, how did Boosie and Webby get on the song? You said how did they get on it? Yeah, was it just because um, of your label label uh, relationship? Yeah, they they get here was, to hit. This is what it was. This is what it was. We was working on my project, right? And I'm 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 gonna break it down to you how how the, how the label work and. Okay, Boosie already put a project out, right? He needed a single. They kept using, they kept using, trying to uh, find singles for his album. They kept trying to find singles. And we came to the, we came to the, the arrangement, the agreement that we, that we would do the remix and put it as his song so they can revamp his album. And put the remix on his album and use that as his single. Okay. Now, now the thing about that, a lot of people uh, 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 look at that and be like, "I wouldn't have did no, I wouldn't have did that. That's crazy." You know what I'm saying? But I'm a team player for one, bro, and for two. Two checks is always better than one. <laughs> <laughs> and for three, I got talent, bro. Like that's. That's a song, you know what I'm saying? Rappers who who really can't, who really ain't like that, really can't rap like that, they'll trip over something like that. Man, I can go in the studio and and and, and make a thousand of them, bro. Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. So do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button and you hit that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell. So that way you get a notification every time I drop one of these hot interviews.